My name is Beverly Kinsey Damaya. I am a senior beauty consultant with Mary Kay, and I am mad about domestic violence. Hassandra here, and I have the privilege of interviewing today Miss Beverly Kinsey Dunmire, who is not only a Mary Kay consultant, a senior Mary Kay consultant, but she's also a survivor. So I'm gonna give her the opportunity just to interview, introduce herself and to tell you just a little bit about her. Hello, everyone. My name is Beverly Kinsey Dunmire. As I stated before, I am a Mary Kay um, senior consultant. Um, I do do facials. Um, I do have like one one on one um, facials, or I can do virtual facials as well. Where you know, women that has been you know in domestic violence situation, there's nothing like beautifying a person up, making them feel good, letting them know that they're worth something. So this is why I love doing my Mary Kay and love uplifting other women who's been in a situation similar to mine. Um, unfortunately, I am a, a survivor. Um, and like I said, and I would like to go ahead and like, you know, continue to experience, you know, and help other women to um, feel good about themselves, you know, because sometimes when you're in a domestic violence, you can get torn down. Um, but I am one who wants to uplift women. And like I say, and Mary Kay um, does do a lot for um, domestic violence as well. Now, I know that within my situation with going through domestic violence and coming out of domestic violence and being a survivor as well, one issue that I came in contact with was finances. When I filed for a divorce and I decided, hey, I don't want to do this anymore, I had $37.50 in my bank account. But I was like, listen, <laughs> this is what I need to do and this is what I'm going to do. So how was your financial situation affected by domestic violence? Oh, I was mainly the breadwinner in there. And like I said, when you're in a domestic violence, you do have to make a choice. Either I stay for the finances or do I leave for my life? Um, in my situation, I was there for a while for the finances because it, I was just not happy there because it just wasn't happy. You know, it was just toxic. It was real toxic. And I had choose to leave the whole city. I had to just quit my job quit everything and start over. So financially, I had to take a big chunk. I went from making 35,000 a year to making nothing and having to start over. So it took a big chunk of um, a big hit on my finances. Um, I had to find some else place to stay. I had no money in the bank, so I didn't save any money because in that relationship, you can be in a relationship with someone where some men, not all, but some, where you're making more money than they are, they don't like that. It's like they feel like the power has taken. And in my situation, he took that power for from me. And I had to gain that power back. And like I say, financially, I took a break because I can remember where I made almost 40000 that year and I seen nothing nothing in it. And I was just unhappy. And with the bus lips and the bus sides, to, I just like, you know what? I gave my resignation. And I resigned and I left the whole state. And I went back and I gathered myself and didn't let anybody know where I was at, you know. So I had to start over. I didn't have no money, no nothing. I just quit this job where I was making 35 to 40,000 a year because I didn't want no one to put their hands on me anymore. So that's how I took a big chunk out of my financial about having to restart over. And sometimes you have to lose to gain. And I, I had to learn that myself. I've Even. gained a whole lot, as you can <laughs> see. I've gained a whole lot. So I thank God I went through that process. I don't like anyone going through that thing of domestic violence, you know. And like I said, Mary Kay does have, um, is an advocate for domestic violence and cancer. Those are number two products, two things that Mary Kay does um, give back to. Um, like I say, and we have a... Um, national who says that you know she started mary Kay. she was in a domestic violence and all she wanted to do was make 200 dollars a week to pay child care but now she's like number one of the number one ladies in mary Kay, a millionaire with mary Kay. so so how did becoming a mary Kay consultant help you through your domestic violence situation um becoming a mary Kay consultant like i said you had to start over 
um, I met this young lady um, in the state that I was in, which was in Tallahassee, Florida. And I met this young lady who introduced me to Mary Kay. But like everybody else, oh, that's not for us, you know, don't want to do it. But I went one day and I sat because I needed my freedom back because I was trying to figure out, I've just come out of this relationship and I have the scars and I have the, you know, you may not see it, but it's there, you know, to prove that, hey, how do I beautify myself back up? How do I bring myself back up and say, hey, I am beautiful. I am lovable. You know, I am somebody's wife. I am someone's daughter. I am worth something. And I went with this um, lady to a facial party where there were other women. And I liked their sisterhood that they had. I liked the way they embraced each other. And I was like, hey, I want to be a part of that. This can bring me back to where my happy place, where I can be happy. And I joined. And again, life happened. I didn't. This is like my third time in Mary Kay, which is my last time quitting because now I'm much stronger now and I'm much better and a lot has changed. So Mary Kay really brought me back to life of, you know, with the sisterhood, um, with loving each other. And like I said, Mary Kay's motto is God first, family second, career third. So I must, I live by that now. So, and it just brought life back into me, you know, just to take and just a little bit of makeup, a little bit of eyeliner, it makes a woman feel good. And as I kept going on and on, hey, I like this. And now my sisterhood is just amazing. I remember the first time that I had to use makeup to cover up a scar. Mm. And um, coincidentally, it was Mary Kay makeup that I had received from a Mary Kay consultant. Yeah. <laughs> I had probably <laughs> privately told about my situation that was going on. And I, I was always getting the um, three-in-one cleanser from her. <laughs> for the mm -hmm. black spots so yes. um and she seen me one day and it's still a scar like right up under my eye mm -hmm. where i got into it with my ex-husband and she basically gave me the makeup and i covered it up so with using it now using makeup now it's just a whole different feeling because i'm not using it for the purpose of covering up scars covering up, or right. anything of that it's nature i'm using it because i'm stuff. you know beautifying what i already have so mm -hmm. that's that's a big thing. And I think people really dismiss the beauty factor because I do hair. And sometimes when women get out of the chair, just getting their hair done gives them a whole nother aspect of life. And it's not just a hairdo. It's also a confident booster. So confident. I think that's what, what I call Mary Kate consultants. I'm like, y'all are confident boosters because y'all really help people yes, with, I like confidence that. <laughs> with using makeup. So I have yes. one, one more question for you. Um, I know you gave us a little bit of information about uh, Mary Kay, but exactly how do they give back to domestic violence survivors? Um, every October, uh, Mary Kay does observe National Domestic Violence um, Awareness Month. And by awarding grants to deserving women um, who's been in domestic violence shelters, so they give back. And Mary Kay um, year to day has given over $3 million in grants to domestic violence shelters to have women, you know, like I said, start over, start fresh, find self again. And that's how they give back. Like I said, every month we um, observe um, national domestic violence. And like I said, they've given over 3 million in grants to domestic violence shelters all over the country. And that's awesome. And a lot of people don't even know that Mary Kay is an advocate for domestic violence. Right. So that's great to know. So how can mm -hmm. we find you on social media? Do you want to show us one of y'all amazing products while we're here? Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> well, right now, um, as you can see, I do have a whole store back here. Um, like I said, it's not all about makeup mm -hmm. because we also have perfumes as wow. well. Okay. Um, we sell cologne as well for men and like I said we have products for every part of the body which we have um, the satin body wash and satin lotion the so satin have, hands uh, is amazing <laughs> uh, listen yes we definitely have the satin hands and we have the uh, sorry we do have the whole satin hand set here um where you have your affoliating um, cream. Let me show you this real fast. 
sorry, sorry, sorry. And you can this does come in citrus or unscented as well, because you know you have some people who doesn't have scent, but you get the whole set. You get your cream to keep your hands. So satin hands. Everybody loves the satin hands. Yes. And it makes your body so soft. So it does. Soft. I'm a witness of that. So we're going <laughs> to put the satin hands on. We're going to continue to encourage people to keep their hands to their sails. <laughs> we want to be going around hitting on people either way. And we also know that um, domestic violence can affect men just as well as it can affect exactly. women. Exactly. Mary Kay has yeah. products for men just as well as they have products for women. So we're mm -hmm. keeping this thing balanced and equal. Yes. So I'm going to make oh, yeah. sure that I put your website. As well. So men cleanse their face and get their face right too. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to make sure that I put your website. If you need those Mary Kay products, we're going to make sure that we go to Miss Beverly, click on her website, and you can place those orders so that we can make sure our skin and our body is healthy and we'll be supporting a great cause with counseling out or unmasking domestic violence. So thank you so much for your time today. Is there anything else you want to say to the people? Yes, thank you very much. I can say to Lashana for having me today and me sharing my story with you. Um, if you would like to reach me, you can text me or call me at 843-668-6746. Or you can reach out to my website, which is www.maryk.com backslash B-K-I-N-C-E-Y, which is Kinsey hyphen Dunmeyer, D-U-N-M-E-Y-E-R. Hashtag Butterfly Transformers. <laughs> and there you go. Thank you. 